radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Oh, dude, this is so epic, bro. We got a little mini army about to take out that base, dude. I'm so excited for this. Let's go ahead and do this. What's going on guys back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So in this one We're gonna be continuing the main storyline if you remember in the last video We actually went through this tunnel area fought a lot of Manta Queens including one Mega Manta Queen And we ended up coming to this lady right here named Joy Essentially what she said is that this place that she was guarding got overrun by Marauders as a matter of fact You can actually see one right there walking. There's a Marauder hooligan and she actually asked us to go down the hill or something to see if we could convince somebody to come help us or something along that lines. So we're actually going to go ahead and try to do that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so... Why do people make such a big thing out of hiking? Once you're up, you just got to go down again. You're right. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. So where's the hill? I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall. Is that a Manta Queen? It is a Manta Queen. So I don't want to do that just yet. I need to figure out where this hill is. I'm assuming this is the way. If I never smell another raft, it'll be too soon. Is that him? Weren't you a sawbones? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. Well, these all look friendly. Yeah, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. I'm with you there. At least humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to stink. Isn't this the guy that we saved? Most. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. It absolutely is. Not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Ooh, I hope it's then a legendary. We call it even between us. Uh, why are you guys guarding the station? We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But, I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns. Including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. You don't say. Uh, what kind of... What kind of odd for a group of... Uh, ah, I'm sorry, I'm not reading very properly right now. Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. Very our nice. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. Can't imagine the competition. <laughs> the best is the best, lady. That's all there is to it. That's funny. <laughs> uh, I'll call it even if you help me wipe out the marauders at the broadcast station. Ooh. I think I want that weapon, though. I'll come back. So let me see. He said there was something inside. Thunder? Is that a legendary? It is. Oh my god. It's powerful too. This is making me wish. This is making me wish I spec into into rifles. I'll be taking that since it's not labeled to for steel. I could sleep. How am I just now figuring out that I can sleep? Resting a bed is a relaxing is relaxing and moves time forward and super new no okay, whatever. Alright, let me see if I can convince him now that I picked this up. Wait, he said it was in a Unlock with key. Uh, let's go ahead and go into transfer menu. So none, that's not a legendary. I mean, I, I don't want any of this though. 
What about this riot control gear? Defense skills plus Nah, I'm good. Let's see what this has. Nothing for me. Nothing for me. Nah, bruh. I'm good. I'd rather take him with me. You look like an idle body. And idlers get orders. Uh, I'll call it even if you come help me wipe out the marauders at the broadcast station. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive until the payment's cleared. So let's do this. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostiles on the inside. Hell yeah. The best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Oh, dude, this is so epic, bro. We got a little mini army about to take out that base, dude. I'm so excited for this. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm so ready. And now I got thunder, too? Bossman said you'd be up this way. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger-happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. I mean, that sounds fun to me. Uh, your gun's the trigger-happy one, or are you? Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece meet each other halfway <coughs> on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. Very nice. We can tell friend from foe, mind you, but it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. Man, you shoot me, I'm gonna shoot you back. Uh, I prefer to get through this unheard and unseen. Sit tight, I'm gonna take a look around. Whatever you need, just don't take too long. Idling makes me want to shoot something. I'm just gonna rush in. And get a few shots ahead of time. Or maybe... Let's see here. Hold on. Maybe we can... Get a tactical... Advantage by getting some... Altitude on them. <clears throat> How am I going to do this? Let's see. There's a lot of people here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll be alright. Let's go. Well, let's save it right here first. Alright, let's go. Oh, I thought he died. Where are you going? Got the robot. Oh my god, dude. This gun is nasty. Where, where are they at? Oh! Where'd you come from? Ah! Don't tell me how to live my life. All right, it's time for some fun stuff. Very nice. Oh shit! Where'd you come from? 
I guess he doesn't care about me. Woo, man, this is sick as hell, bro. And I leveled up. Don't mind if I do. Is that it? Hiram must have sealed the door. He's he spooks easy. Did it, I hope that one girl didn't die. Let's go ahead and check up on her. Joy or whatever her name was. She was awesome. Like she literally wanted to help. Oh, there she is. Hell yeah. Talk to me. The fighting ain't gonna get easier on the inside. Best hurry before the marauders regroup. We'll keep watch out here. Sounds good. Now we got a team outside and we're about to infiltrate the base. Time now. Now it's time for me and my two homegirls. Holy shit, look at the minimap on top. There's a lot of them. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the Ellie, go. Well, let's do this. Get away from me, you dog. Oh, crap. Where'd you come from? Ah! I love this gun. I really do. Can I, I can't, I, but, yeah, I thought so. Ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Don't you worry about it. Look for another way up. What's the music box for? If you guys know, let me know. All right, so that's the laboratory. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka! What? what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. <laughs> also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders? Running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Uh, I need to see the information. Uh, I need to see the information broker about. No, no, no. We'll deal with information related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. I tried. The marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. They're outside. Contractor, you may call me the broker. Hey, I knew that well, was you. We can call you Hiram on account of that's your damn name. And <laughs> on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. Hell yeah. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Um, okay, broker. See, Nioka, I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Sounds like a plan. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Uh, how many marauders broke into the station? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Let's go. So, now that it's open, I should be able to go into the elevator now. So, let's go ahead and go. Can I get in here? No. Looks like a bunch of chests and stuff in there. There it is. Let's go. I hope you guys are ready because it sounds like we're about to get down and dirty with some marauders. Yeah, light me on fire, ladies and gents. Huh? Open fire! Huh? Something's not right. Wait a minute. Oh, these are my friends. The ones I just got from outside. No! Oops. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try this again. Light them on fire, ladies and gents! 
Let's go, Nyoka. Hopefully we can take most of them out. Hell yeah. Oh wait, there's another one. This dude's chasing him. Where'd he go? No, you shot at the wrong guy, you dumbass. Oh man. No, I don't like that. I'm I'm reloading it. All because she decided to shoot my own friend. Don't shoot the wrong person, Ellie. Fuck. Hopefully we'll do it this time. Is there any? Yeah, they're still upstairs, so. Come on, where are you at? I think he's good. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Awesome, dude. Hi. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly Ooh, valued... Ooh, 2,000 bits. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why? In the nebula, are you here? Um, I'm told. I'm, I'm told. I told you, I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah, yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Obviously, Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. <laughs> Careful, I know that line. I use it all the time. Uh-oh. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. And why exactly is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. So we kicked them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Uh, can we cu uh, cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Whoa, crap, this is going to be tough. I'll talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. 
So you're an information broker? What's that exactly? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Well, this should be Ask interesting. You will. Um... Have you reco uh, recovered any broadcast from Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. Eh, I'm good. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Very low. Later. Nioka, pick me up some stimu lotion and a bottle of purple berry wine when you're next in Stellar Bay. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even want to ask what that's about. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Ooh, a safe? Oh, I can't get in there. Could definitely use the adrenal. All right. What's this? Trip blade? Mark II? Yeah, all right. Let's go. All right, so where are we supposed to go now? Stellar Bay South Ruins. All right, let's go ahead and look at my journal. So the broker can't deliver the location of the chemicals until you stop the whatever and MSI transmissions that are inferring K the tower. Uh, and Graham leads out. Okay, so these are two different locations. First, Sanjar. Uh, that's back at the starting place here in this world. And then Graham is in another location. Amber Heights, apparently. So. So we have to complete this. Do I even have it? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and do this mission first then. Where's it at anyways? Whoops. Okay, it's all the way over there by uh, Stellar Bay. So let's go ahead and fast travel here. All right. So it's literally right over there. So let's go ahead. We have to go around though. I really like this gun, man. This gun is really making me wish... You, you don't say. It's making me wish I uh, spec into rifles, man. Maybe it's not too late. Wait, speaking of that, I have to level up, don't I? So, skills. Let's just put all of this into there. 60. Wait, where are you at? Long guns. Okay, yeah, I'm doing it. It's gonna happen. I'm a long guns expert. This gun is too insane not to spec into it. Think they left anything good behind? Probably not. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. Well, good things uh, I can respond back. I wonder where we're going to find here. Oh, there's my answer. Nioka, you're up. My kind of yes, it is. Look at all the little guys. Going, little guy. I can't see you. Holy shit, there's a lot going on. Away with you, heathens. I love this gun. We killed it, dude. What's in here? 
Heavy ammo. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Is that one? It does it looks like that person's the only one, so Ellie, you're up. Nioka handle it. Good job. Oh, there's another little guy. <laughs> the way they scream is hilarious. Let's see here. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins of Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nioka's a monster with that gun, dude. Looks like there's a few more. We should be fine. That Nioka, you're up. I like Nioka, she's a monster, but her special ability is annoying. I got you guys, don't worry. I don't even know why I'm clearing this place. Clearly I'm supposed to go over here. <laughs> huh. Let's see what we're gonna find in here though. And how we're gonna get in here. Oh crap, I didn't see this dude. Scared the shit out of me, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so how do I get in there? Do I have a key? I do not. Uh, there's stairs on the, on the second floor. Is there stairs anywhere else? Oh crap. Oh wait, there's a bridge that goes that way. So maybe I can get in if I go in through here. So that's a no go. Uh, we have, uh. We have an issue here. So that door is open. If I can get on there, I'd be golden. The question is how? So clearly it has to do something with over here. Watch there be just some random key just laying around. Wait a minute, there's stairs right here. I got it. Got it, got it, got it. So now I just basically run across. And voila! Nope. Uh, I don't think they figured that out yet. Who are you? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then Rathodon, who's a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Uh, you got locked in how? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, well, I need to get in that room. Thanks, Mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. He's probably dead. So look for a dead guy, I guess. <laughs> Man, if I have to look through everybody, I'm going to be mad. 
Uh. All right, I'll look. Let me look over here first. All right, got some more money. Some more bits on the floor. Very nice. Let's just take a look around. It won't hurt, I suppose. Weapons parts, Adreno. Heavy armor. Don't need a rake. I suppose that's everything. Oh, yeah, it's over here. All right. Now that's probably everything. Let's go. I really hope. Okay, cool. There he is. Toronimo! <laughs> Oops. There. It is. Lead armor. I'll take it. Now I gotta go all the way around and get in there. Very nice. <clears throat> the good thing is that I have like unlimited stamina apparently, so I can literally just sprint for days, even though the sprint really isn't that fast. It's like the sprint's supposed to be uh the walk. Well, hello there. Phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? <laughs> oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. You're really not that far from home, I don't think. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, then. Uh, normally when you help someone, they give you something in for your trouble. Attack? That's fucked up. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, yeah, just put in a good word for me, I suppose. <clears throat> well, I suppose good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. All right. Don't need a flamethrower. I could definitely always use some more bits. Why? Eh. Mag, so this is the bolt cartridge. Mm -hmm. Wipe any terminals in the building. I want to look at where what the building is. Hold on. Is there a term? Was there a terminal in here? There it is. <clears throat> Let's see here. View executive reviews. Loading last uh, access document. So Sandra has a bad habit of paddling or padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking some emotion. Okay, so he's basically useless at his job. Uh... We cannot recommend any further advance advancements. That's why he wants me to wipe the, the data. Damn. I don't want to... I don't want to do it. He seems kind of sleazy. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Let's go. Plus, I want Monarch to be free from the corporation. If I can get those guns up and they can defend themselves, I think that's probably better in my opinion. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel there. 
All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with Sanjar. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nioka. Sir, please stop. <laughs> Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. He seriously anyway, sounds sleazy, what though. What can I do for you? Uh... So let's give him the bolt cartridge. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. MSI Elite Helmet? Nice. Alright, so how exactly is a data cartridge going to help? Yeah, so it's not a weapon? You made it sound like you were uh, sending me after a weapon. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. What? The bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Wow. So what does the Bolt 52 do exactly? For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. What's a come up come up pins? I have no idea what that is. Uh, sure. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. <laughs> you know what? I can get behind that. Now I regret That's not deleting like it. Here. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Yeah, see, I knew he was sleazy, dude. But, <laughs> but I guess in this situation, it's in our favor, I suppose. Uh, what does that mean for me exactly? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Uh, sounds like you know her very, uh, well That's enough. part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay. And I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. Uh, so go to Fallbrook. Get the location of an illegal corporate facility, then? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate a secret corporate, uh, corporate base and kidnap the staff? Sure, easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Well, uh, so I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was already opened. You could have told me it was on the terminal, dude. Yes, but then you would have known. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Wait, who cares what they think? You're in charge now. 
in charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work? That's more than anyone can say for their for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Um I need to to stop uh I need MSI to stop broadcasting. You're jamming Devil's Peak Station. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? Oh crap. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another way for you to do business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. If we can find proof that one of the companies on the board is also active on Monarch, that'll give me all the leverage I need. Okay. Fair enough. I knew you'd understand. Uh... If you're looking for a corporate presence, I met some mercenaries affiliated with C3. I'm sorry, who? You know, a company that they just created themselves. <laughs> the corporate compliance crew. Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped up band of thugs with certain pretensions. They the evidence I'm hoping still for there. implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's, Spacer's Choice, UDL, someone of that caliber. Got it. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. <sighs> um. All right, bye. All right, so where to? I know we have to go somewhere else. So let's see. Uh, let's go back to region. All right, so let's go to Fallbrook. All righty. Let's see what happens here, man. Because this is this should be very interesting. Honestly, I'm kind of going with the flow. I keep changing my mind and stuff, and this game, it's really hard to make decisions in this game because there's so many consequences now to your decisions. Who knows what she wants. I like her. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Uh, I haven't talked to, I haven't dealt with Clive yet. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed. Suppose I've no choice but to be patient. Yep. Maybe a handful of bits will spur you into quicker action. Nope. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, Sandra said that uh, you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch? Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. Um, sure, I'll check it out. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Uh, alright. So I guess I have to... Let me see. So I can't continue this because I need to talk to her, but she won't tell me anything until I find the crew. So I definitely need to do this one first. So where does this lead? Okay, so back to region. Uh, Alright, so I have to go here. Where am I right now? Is this me? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just run out of here. And then we'll make the decision on where to go once I actually leave this building. It's not that far anyways. I hope I don't end up siding unintentionally with the corporations. It kind of seems like I am so far. I'm not really sure though. Alright, so it looks like it's not that far. It's actually right outside, so... I think we're just going to go ahead and run there. Honestly though, the the backdrops, if you will, actually look really nice in this game. 
Very alien. Some of the textures could be a little better, but overall, man, this game looks fantastic. Uh oh. Do I hear uh, Raptodons? Alright, let's go. Doesn't look like there's an alternative. Oh god. Get out of my way. Awesome. Oh crap, it's a Manta Queen. Let's go! Ellie, your turn! Got the Manta Queen. Shoot! Very nice. Oh! So, this is the dude that, in the last video, I think it was, that I was talking about. Uh, I'm not, I don't care about that. So, what's up with this dude? Well now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. No worries. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see what you have, though. I'm very interested in weapons. Legendary variety weapons. What is this? This looks freaking awesome. Okay, okay. Ranged weapons. And I think I already have this, but no. You got nothing I'm interested in, though. Thank you, though. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Down here? Can I jump down? Fuck, no I can't. <laughs> so I basically killed this freaking Manta Queen for nothing. It's all good, neighborhood. I suppose we'll go around now. Suppose we could also just bask in the, uh, the scenery as well. Look at how freaking awesome this looks, dude. Oh, wait. There's something right here. Wasn't that far, either. I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. That dude Thanks is dead AF. Seen this coming. Vortex Mage? Is this a legendary? It is not. It's all good, though. I'll take all this ammo. Examine. A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. <clears throat> All right, so where to? Okay, so blood right here, blood right here. Is this some? Damn it! Okay, let's go. What the hell is this? Let's go ahead and change. Is it not going to break? I guess we just have to jump through everything. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Well, that was scary. Ellie Nioka, be careful. Down they go. Let's go ahead and destroy all this stuff in the meantime. And I hope I don't die. Pretty sure I'm hurting myself in the process. I killed an enemy, apparently. Oh no!
Somebody's hurt. You do anything fishy and I'll blow your brains out. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Looks like I found Han Solo. Uh, I've got moves, and I will try them. Just remember, I still got bullets, in case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? I mean, we all know you shot first anyways. Uh, Ellie, can you help his wounds? I assume you mean patch him up, not make him bigger. <laughs> I love her. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I not through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Uh, what's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Uh, I want to know what happened here. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. Oh, I guess they're dead. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Uh, well, looks like that turned out well. Yeah. I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. Where did the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Yeah, let's... Is that the same... Is that the same mission? Uh... Yep, let's just do it. What is this thing? Inferno Scythe? That sounds bomb. Pure water. Don't worry, he doesn't need any of this anyways. Look at all this loot, man. Holy crap. Definitely need these for my rifle. And that, I mean, just for me, but still. Yes. 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 Just give me everything. I want everything. I don't think I got this one. Nope, I didn't. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna be pissed if I blow up, though. Ah! Holy shit. I just blew somebody up. Let's go! So, how far is this location? It's very not- it's not far at all, actually. Yeah, it's about the same distance from here to Fallbrook, so let's just go ahead and huff it there. Oh, get it- yep, there you go. Well, they- somebody's been drinking by the- There's no running water, why does it sound like that? It should just be still water, because it's just a small little pond. But hey, you know what? I'm not going to nitpick. Oh, shit. You're on. I aimed at the wrong one, but it's okay, though. Good job, Ellie. You're a monster. 2,300 XP for that. Very nice. So, now we're on the hunt for some Marauders. You don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. Oh, there they are. Look, I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable, I swear. Crap, they blew him up. Where are they at? Go up, Neoka. She's got some serious aim. Okay.
And I leveled up. No problemo. So I have to go make my way upstairs. So let's go ahead and go in here. Dude, look, all these scientists are dead, bro. I mean, I guess dead people won't need any of this. Ah! Where'd he go? I think he's dead. There's still more? Oh my god, this dude's blasting the hell out of me. Do you now? Ooh. I'll take it. I'll take that as well. You know what? I'll just take everything. Give me everything you guys have. I mean, you guys don't need it anyways. You guys are dead as hell. All right, let's see what's going on here. Research data. <clears throat> was that it? <laughs> that was easy. Whoops, wrong button. That's all you guys got, man. You guys are whack, dude. Sucks I couldn't save those scientists, though. Oh, well. So where, where to now? I'm assuming back to Fallbrook? No. Oh, okay, back to Stellar Bay. Hold on, really quick. Before I even fast travel, let's go ahead and... Codex? Oh, okay. I don't care. So, unforeseen. You have evidence. Oh, very nice. So, by doing this, I'm going to be able to do that. So yeah, let's go ahead and fast travel back to Fallbrook. Or to Stellar Bay. Sanjar, I got something for you, bro. Oh look, he's got one of those scythes that I just found. It's probably really good. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, it's actually something I did for you. I found the data cartridge with details of UDL secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I do, in fact. Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Mighty big of you. Suppose we'll have to see if Graham's able to do the same. Believe me, Very nice. you've got your work cut out for you there. Was there anything else? No, I think we're good. Thank you. All right, so where are we supposed to go now? So I chemical back to MSI. Okay. So map region. Let's go back to Amber Heights. All righty. Now we should be able to convince him. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Um, You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have? I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but she's we got pretty out eyes. Paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. Yeah, I feel you. But you know what we do have? Freedom. Freedom. Oh, I knew it. Oh, place in Halcyon, you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. I like this group now. 
Uh... And here I thought everyone works for a corporation. I know. It's quite revolutionary. We're a community here. No jobs, no shifts, just people who help each other. That's cool. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Eh, maybe. <laughs> One big happy family, huh? Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm here to talk to somebody about your broadcasts. Oh, you've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around this dark, dark planet. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Uh, I think I'm gonna find them, period. Got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Awesome. Let's go ahead and... Mention, the iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Well, I mean... Right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? That's I like that armor. We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be following our Alright, let's see what we can muster up in here. Oh look, it's a bar. A manticore. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Aw, oh, man, I was trying to lay... listen. That was an interesting conversation. All right, hey. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Uh... I just need you to stop using Devil's Peak, bro. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I mean, I don't disagree with you. But your broadcasts aren't working and nobody is listening. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but... Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely... Sorry. Uh, I've been around the colony and I've never heard it once, bro. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. Maybe. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Uh... Hold on, you're saying you want to print propaganda in their magazines? Might actually have better reach. People read that stuff all over the system, even in Byzantium. You see, citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. That sounds like a good even idea. I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. <laughs> My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. <laughs> All right, you know what I'll help. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Uh, maybe. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. 
A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has cut on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Yeah, I figured. So, where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Uh, Huxley, the runner from the northern ruins? I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. Well, that's rude. All right. Deuces. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Um. So optional, get high capacity cartridges or extra supplies for... I think food is more important. Let me see. So we're still doing radio free, but right now we have to do this. Right? Okay, let's... Oh wait, hold on. Radio free. Okay, yeah. So we have to do the commuter first. But that's going to do it for this video. We're actually out of time. In the next video, we're going to finish up radio free... Uh, radio free monarch, I think it's called. Hold up. Yeah, Radio Free Monarch. And possibly start a new quest and see what basically happens from there. But with that being said, if you're liking this series, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to Channel VR if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.